mantra in your head. Mind awake, body asleep. You're in this with me, so it'll work better if we do it together. <laughs> Three more. <laughs> I'm not saying it. You sure this is accurate? You know of all the gifts he sent? This is the greatest we ever received. Sure. Don't tell me. <laughs> what the fuck? The relic raptor of the street? Or more like the subway train? So you're not gonna tell me where you're taking me? You can't do this. They didn't even tie her up. Or shot her up. A lot of people are gonna know that I'm missing. <laughs> But will any one of those care enough to investigate? This isn't my blood in case you're wondering. You need to finish this evaluation. I understand you have your procedure, but these are extreme circumstances. I believe the best use for me is back at the crime scene. Why is she, why is she sitting in a hospital gown? She wasn't even hit. Can I speak to Agent DePiro for a minute? Alone. You know I can't leave. Yes, you can. No, I can't. No. Oh, always those pussies. <laughs> There's no way he would have got me out of that room if I had that guy's shop. <laughs> China bailed out E Corp, gave them a two trillion dollar no interest loan. Unprecedented. <laughs> they can't do this after what happened last night. What? That some Mexican restaurant got shot up? It was more than that, and you know it. We have to tell them. <sighs> you have no proof. <laughs> Could have been anyone who showed up that place. The U.S. isn't going to mess with its Chinese relations now. And with the OPR investigation still going, the Bureau isn't even getting close to it. A month ago, they tried to kill us. In politics, that's a distant memory. This deal they have now is about to potentially solve the biggest global crisis. Actually, you should never have gone there to China. Should have done that via a video conference. These people could at least talk to her and say in as few words as possible what's going on. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> Hello? We don't have much time. Let's get started. Who are you? And why are you imitating her look? Have you ever cried during sex? What's going on? Have you ever cried during sex? Who are What's you? going on? Who sent you here? Please answer the question. No. Have you ever cried during sex? Why is a child doing this interview? If you don't answer, I'll be punished. Tough on you. <laughs> Good They'll luck. Don't beat me. So that's why <laughs> they let a child do this. But is it even true? Have you ever fantasized about murdering your father? <laughs> no. Are you a giraffe or a seagull? A giraffe, obviously. <laughs> the fuck? Until they explain what that was all about, I say it's just bullshit. Random bullshit. Jack? Look at me. <laughs> Why is he always talking to him like that? How long have you been pressing this pedal? How long have you been plotting against me? Oh, come on. Jack, we've known each other for years. You know full well I, I don't give a shit about you. <laughs> you are standing in the dark room and can't see anything. There's a torch and the match. What do you do? <sighs> what the fuck is going on with these riddles and questions? The fuck? Is there any point to this shit? I open the door. How do you open it? I turn the knob. The knob doesn't turn. How do you open it? 
I slam my head against the door until it cracks open. <laughs> or my head cracks open. Either way, I'll be free soon. Alexa, are we friends? Alexa, what's your favorite color? Alexa, do you have a boyfriend? Alexa, what are the color of your eyes? Alexa, are you happy? Alexa, are you alone? Alexa, do you love me? Alexa, good night. Holy shit, that entire scene was... Oh my god. So freaking pointless. What the hell? Now we're back to Angela and her nonsense room. Is this your house? I've been here for hours. I wanted to confirm that this wasn't a waste of my time. Well, what about my time? <laughs> yeah, yeah, what about my time? Having to watch this. I've only allotted 28 minutes for this conversation, which is very generous of me. So we should begin. How about we begin with a five minute monologue of you speaking about time and how important it is. <laughs> You've been here close to four hours, and you never thought to walk out the door. Uh, actually, she tried once, but it was locked then. The door was locked. I've always found doors fascinating inventions. They hold the entry to unlimited imagination. Before you open any door, a world filled with possibilities sits right behind it. Oh, piss off with this uh, pretentious... Gibberish. <sighs> Kidding me. Your fish died. <laughs> yes, I know. <laughs> You're a terrible person. You don't even know you her. You that little girl. Makeup. It was part of the test. Huh. Knew it wasn't real. Everywhere I look, you're there. That is why I wanted to meet. So I could find out why you are so special to Philip Price. That's what I would like to know too, actually. <laughs> Do you ever think that if you imagined or believed in something, it would come true? Actually, I did believe that, but I'm slowly having to admit. It's just not the real world. Well, I guess it all depends on what your definition of real is. Very enlightening scene. That was even longer than the Alexa scene. Much longer. How long have I been asleep for? Well, you didn't miss much. <laughs> no matter how long it was. Now I'm the silent observer. Like him. This is a cipher message. That's why he wanted to come home. Someone's trying to make contact with me. Each number represents a letter. Hmm. I was very close with the fridge, huh? At least it's a flyer about food. <laughs> Don't be duped. Cut down the woods. Cut down the woods. Remove all of the Perrin and Erdos woods numbers. <sighs> They're really pushing it with this episode. <laughs> it's again a never ending scene. It could have been replaced by anything else, pretty much. I mean, the way he got the phone number, that's what could have been replaced by any other riddle. Just like the way White Rose made sure Angela was worthy of her time could have been replaced by any other test. This is no longer a question of what I'm seeing. We know that's not reliable. The real question is... What am I not seeing? Do you see him? Elliot, stop it. Did, did you hear that? Calm you need to turn around Elliot. and tell me if you, you see just someone over. sitting next you... to me. What the fuck is this bullshit? A minute ago he told us that it's not important what he sees. Because that can't be trusted. Important is what he can see. And yet he starts this argument about whether that guy sees what he sees. <sighs> I think this is the beginning of a beautiful friendship. <laughs> <laughs> Looks more like the end to one of the worst episodes of the show. What the fuck was that? Holy hell. <laughs> <laughs>